including China and Russia, uh, are right uh, not to rule out a return uh, to negotiations. Uh, at the same time, there are likely to be continued international discussions on uh, further sanctions against Iran, and that is only to be expected given the seriousness of the disagreements that have taken place between the Security Council uh, and uh, Iran. Uh, they... These are not trivial matters. Uh, whether or not uh, Iran is interested in breaking its commitments to the Non-Proliferation Treaty um, have uh, vital uh, impact on the peace and security of the region uh, as a whole. So there is no way in which Security Council powers can simply walk away from the difficult decisions they have to take on how to follow up previous rounds of sanctions. But at the same time, I don't expect decisions to be taken rapidly. I believe these discussions are going to take uh, weeks and months. and We, will, we won't see an, an early draft resolution in the Security Council or quick and easy agreement between America and its partner countries. And I hope that during that period of reflection on sanctions, uh, it will also be possible to reflect on possible new approaches to negotiations. Uh, Sir Richard Dalton, uh, there are reports in press and various analysts are uh, uh, analyzing the situation that uh, uh, with the Iranian nuclear program and its installations at various places wide spread out in the whole of the country and many are underground beneath the mountains, uh, the military option available for United States and Israel, it may not work. Uh, do you agree with this? Yes, I do agree with that. Uh, I believe that that has always been the case, that there is no uh, new revelations or new information which uh, change that assessment. Uh, what I do believe is that it is possible for a military aggressor to inflict serious damage on Iran's nuclear program and to delay Iran's acquisition of uh, further mastery of the different stages of the nuclear fuel cycle. Uh, but uh, I do not believe that the military option would enable the international community uh, to be sure that Iran would never develop a nuclear weapon. I think the opposite might happen, and that uh, a military uh, option would accelerate the uh, development of a nuclear weapon in Iran. Uh, sir, my last question. Uh China has a lot of stakes in Iran and uh, the reports are suggesting that China has invested billions and billions of dollars uh, in gas and petroleum sector and different trade agreements uh, uh, between China and Iran. So uh, what uh, China will do when things will be discussed in Security Council uh, regarding sanctions and uh, further actions against Iran if needed? Uh, what China uh, will do and what options uh, China, have, uh, China has in its hands? Well, there's one thing I would say, which is that we all hope that China will match its determination to defend its economic interests with a determination to find realistic ways forward in the negotiation. What we hear usually from China is simply uh, generalities, that uh, patience is required, that the political track should be used, that diplomacy has not been exhausted. What we never hear is any substance from Chinese commentators on actually how the issue could be moved forward and why we should be patient and why we should be confident in the future of diplomacy. So given that everybody respects China's important position in the world and its uh, vital interests uh, in Iran and in the region as a whole, uh, I think it's also incumbent on uh, China to take a more active role in the diplomacy on finding solutions. Many thanks, Sir Richard Dalton.